Hey everyone, in this 4 minute videos for developers, we are going to see how Apigee Edge can do intelligent API routing using target endpoints concept. Myself Anil Sakar, I work at Google and Apigee platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need Apigee Edge account, you can sign up at apigee.com slash edge. You need basic understanding of Apigee API proxy, for that you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. As you know, Apigee Edge sits in between the client and the th target system where you can create API proxies. And API proxy is divided into proxy endpoint and then target endpoint. Every target endpoint is mapped to a particular backend target server. For example, let's take HTTP bin. You can also have one more target uh, server which is uh, configured in Apigee as a target endpoint. For example, let's say Apigee mock target endpoint. Whenever a request comes to an API proxy, for example, let's say slash v1 slash mock, based on any parameter that is part of a request or based on any custom logic, you can able to do routing to different target endpoints in the runtime intelligently in Apigee Edge. Let's assume that we want to route based on the query parameter to different target endpoint. You can able to do that in Apigee Edge. For example, if query param target is HTTP bin, then you want to target to HTTP bin. If query param target is mock, Apigee mock, you want to target to Apigee mock. Not only based on query parameter, you can route the API call using any flow variables in Apigee Edge. Let's see how it works in action. Let's create a simple API proxy to see how the API routing works and how you can able to create different target endpoints in Apigee Edge. I'm going to click on API proxies. Click on plus proxy to create a new proxy and choose the reverse proxy. Click on next. I'm going to name the proxy as uh, target endpoint uh, route demo. I'm going to give the proxy base path as slash v1 slash mock route. And uh, one of the target endpoint I'm going to define during proxy creation. I'm going to give one of the endpoint as http bin.org slash get and then click on next. Choose pass through, choose default and uh, build and deploy. Once API proxy is deployed, uh, quickly go to the overview screen to see the proxy endpoint. As you can see, this is the proxy endpoint which points to HTTP bin.org. Let's create one more target endpoint and do some intelligent API routing. Click on develop. As you can see, there is only one target endpoint default which points to HTTP bin.org slash get. To create one more target endpoint, click on plus sign next to target endpoint. And then we're going to give the target endpoint name as apigee mock and give the target uh, URL as http colon slash slash mock target dot apigee dot net slash json and then add. As you can see now we have two different target endpoints default and apigee mock where apigee mock points to the http mock target dot apigee dot net slash json. Now, if you want to do an API routing based on some route rules, we can define those route rules in proxy endpoint. Click on proxy endpoints default. As you can see, the default route rule is uh, always default, which points to the default target endpoint. You can define the route rules and routing conditions in the proxy endpoint to intelligently route the API calls to different target endpoints. Let's do that based on the query parameter. And add the new route rule to route the API request to Apigee mock. So I'm going to name my route rule as apigee route and give the target endpoint as apigee mock. And we have to define the route condition. So the route condition will go below the target endpoint. So I will say condition and we're going to leverage the flow variables. So if target is equal to apigee, then we're going to route it to apigee mock endpoint. Otherwise, we're gonna route the API call to the default target endpoint, which is nothing but HTTP pin. Let's save the API proxy and see it in action. Once API proxy is saved, uh, click on trace to see the API in action. So we're gonna take this API and uh, make an API call. So by default, if we don't send target is equal to apigee, then it's gonna hit the HTTP bin.org. There you can see that we got response from HTTP bin.org. Let's say if we send a query parameter called target is equal to apigee, then we're gonna see response from apigee mock. There you go. We got the response from apigee mock. That's how you can able to leverage the target endpoints concept in apigee edge and do intelligent routing using route rules. Subscribe to YouTube channel to get notified if any future videos.